Surround yourself with what makes you feel good and you'll always feel wonderful. Art, collection, magic, inspiration. Feel good, make it happen. Joy, satisfaction, smile. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Like and subscribe. Eternally grateful and very thankful that you're here to join me. Today it's another video focusing on what I love, art. But let's first talk about the look. So I'm wearing an elephant necklace from my elephant haul video. I'll include that video um, so you guys can see if you're interested. It's this beautiful necklace with stones and turquoise work and of course a stunning elephant nose up, calling in all the good prosperity. As far as my headpiece, these are two beautiful um, chains that I got from thrifting. One is um, these, ooh, these are like paper beads and the other one is stone as well. Um, they're both very long necklaces, but I just decided to uh, rock them as a headpiece. You know, kind of rocks, uh, matches the necklace a little bit. So what I'm gonna talk about today is another collection of mine. It's DIY. I just happened to find it and the idea hit me and I did it. So um, for a while when I was on eBay just looking up art and other things, I really got into articles. Um, not so much articles, but advertisements. And I just thought they were very cool, especially vintage ones. So I came across this one amazing one. I know this from like my youth. I used to see the advertisements. It's Fredericks of Hollywood. Now, very va va voom sounding. For those that don't know about it, Fredericks of Hollywood was the preeminent lingerie brand for women in America throughout. Um, the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s until Victoria's Secret took over. It was started by Frank Mellinger, who was the creator of the push-up bra in 1947. And the ads, um, they always just featured very beautiful, voluptuous women. So when I saw these advertisements, I was really inspired and thinking, these are so cool. What can I do with this? Ah! Well, just like my scarf video, I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy them, frame them, and hang them up. So that's exactly what I did. Um, a lot of these ads that I purchased, they're from the 50s, the 60s, the 70s. It's amazing. They're actual vintage paper. And what I did is I just went to my local dollar store and purchased these frames. What's great about it is advertisements in magazines tend to be eight and a half by 11. Um, so they'll just fit in a normal frame. So let's take a look at the ones I have. I have a lot. And let's take a look at the ads. So what's... Noted about Fredericks of Hollywood is they always have these fun little quotes and lines. Well, I mean, look at the beauty of this. What does this say? Now you can have that Hollywood look. Just beautiful dresses, um, bras, of course. It's amazing, you know, at that time, you would order it by mail. And look at the cost for these beautiful gowns. $16, $9, $10. Definitely wouldn't see these prices today. Be a showgirl. Fredericks of Hollywood. They even sold wigs, natural hair wigs too, for very cheap. This next one, naughty, but oh, so Fredericks. Fabulous. And what's cool is you can definitely see the generational um, ads. Some of these show, um, like for instance, this most recent one has bell bottoms in it. So clearly this is around the 70s. Um, here we go. Scanty wear, chic Parisian, sky high heels. This is actually one of my favorite ones. I think high heels are just some of the most beautiful pieces of footwear available for women. Um, this one actually is not a Fredericks of Hollywood um, advertisement. It's Parisian um, sales and it's just so interesting. The address of it, 11 East 47th Street in New York and it would all be done by mail. You would send money. It's so great that this honest system existed 
or these beautiful patent leather heels at the time. $14.95. Good luck finding that now. This next one is not Fredericks of Hollywood, but nonetheless is very beautiful. It's Lingerie de France. French, saucy, and a little bit naughty. I mean, who? what's not to love about this? This one, be more sexy for him. Unfortunately, this one cracked, but the beauty is, is I bought this for a dollar, so I can get another one for a dollar. Treat yourself to beauty magic. Now, when I tell you this was the only and primary lingerie provider for women of America since 1947, up until Victoria's Secret domain began. Beauty tips from Hollywood. They discuss eyebrows and hair and eyelashes. I mean, it's so fascinating. Incredible. You never get enough. And I love the artistry. I love how each girl is so unique in the advertisement. I mean, if I, of the time, saw this, I would want it. Get your dream figure. I mean, it's just fascinating. And all I did is I just eBayed vintage lingerie ads, and here I go. There's even more. You could get the full-blown catalogs from the 50s and 60s and 70s. They're just costlier, but nonetheless, beautiful. This spring, catch a young man's fancy. Summer magic, money back guarantee, 100% human hair wig, $28. Can you believe that, $28? Good luck trying to find that now. All in one figure shaper with bra and nipper, Scarlett O'Hara. It's just beautiful. Ten instant steps to beauty. Whoever their marketing team was, it was just amazing. You know, clearly this targeted women, this targeted men, and this person was the dominant. Wear less, show more. Amazing. This specific one is from 1974. Be more exciting, glamorous for him. Obviously, in, in this time of the world, you know, um, it was just a different time, you know. It's that 1950s, 60s playboy idea of life where women are kind of meant to be this these figurines for men. And <sighs> times have definitely changed, but nonetheless, you can't... Um, it doesn't mean you can't appreciate the work involved in these. Secrets of success. You know, it must have been nice to experience this, to just, this is from 1973. You know, now everything is online. Everything is at our fingertips and we want it now, we want it fast. And you know, something like this, it's like something to look forward to and to get excited about, not that what we have now isn't great. I mean, who doesn't want to be able to get something as soon as they order it? But there definitely is a certain charm to the excitement of waiting um, to be able to have these wonderful items. Don't get caught with nothing to wear. 1974. So this is not a Fredericks of Hollywood. It is a Lily St. Clair. I just can't get over the prices of how cheap everything was. I guess considering at that time, but you would definitely not be able to get these things now for these prices. Please and tease. 
Oh my goodness. Look at all the assortment. This is definitely a brand of liberation. That is definitely for sure, 1974. Here you go, human hair wig, $35. $22.99, now $10. Glamorous fashion. So what I like about him is his brand grew from not only just lingerie, but to actual clothing. So there was absolutely everything. It was a one-stop shop for women. Bare Skin Sensations. The Undie World of Lily St. Clair. These pretty bathing suits. Voluptuous bodies. And this is the last one that I have from 1972. Definitely like a hippie, just post-disco era. Help stamp out flats, flat heads, flat busts, and flat looks. Big hair, big busts, big hips. Fredericks of Hollywood, baby. So that's my collection. And this is just another case in point is, art doesn't have to be, you know, the things you hear about on TV or the articles you read online or uh, look at what this person bought or this billionaire or this musician. Yes, that is art too, but you know, this is as well. Um, I found it on eBay, I liked it, it spoke to me, I bought it, put it in a frame, put it on a wall, boom, there's art, so. If this is something you're interested in, if you just type in Fredericks of Hollywood on eBay, um, you will find many. You'll find the catalogs, you'll find individual pieces of paper. Believe me, there is a full industry of eBay sellers where their sole purpose is selling very unique editorial advertisements. And it could be from anything, any designer labels, sports teams, uh, whatever magazine you may think of, they uh, exist. People who have cataloged pages. This is just cut out from a catalog or a magazine and has been saved um, all this time from 1972. Wow, it's almost 50 years old. In two years it will be. Um, so as I said, art can be anything you want it to be. Um, whatever fulfills your soul, whatever makes you feel good, whatever is exciting for you, that's art, and it's just to prove to show, I did mention before about frames, it does not have to be expensive. It could be whatever you want it to be. Um, so these frames cost a dollar and nothing special. They just have the normal uh, mechanics in the back. I can do it horizontally or vertically, and it came with a glass backing, which is nice and good to go. And, and uh, obviously with these, there's so many. So if you don't necessarily want to put nails into your wall, I totally understand. They have amazing tape now that's reusable and you could just put it on the back of these strips, put on the wall. And if you don't like it, you can take it off. Um, so you don't have holes in your wall. So that being said, guys, this is my other collection of art of Fredericks of Hollywood vintage lingerie ads from the 60s, 70s, and 50s. And if you're curious, I actually kept these in my bathroom. I had a large wall um, just kind of opposite um, the shower and everything, and I thought I need to fill the space with something. Um, so I decided to put these, and I kind of put them in rows of five, and then down four rows. So it was just a whole sea of these ads. And, you know, it was fun to see. Um, I also took into account that it is a shower environment, so it could be wet and moisture, and I don't necessarily want to put something um, real there at the risk that the moisture... Um, or even droplets could perhaps ruin a piece. I mean, at the end of the day, each of these cost me a few dollars. So if 
an unfortunate situation happened and they got wet or ruined, um, it wouldn't be as hurtful as a loss as something that I might have spent a, lot, a bit more money on. So that being said, thank you for checking out my video of my Fredericks of Hollywood collection. Just want to again say to do you and have fun and make your life interesting and your home is definitely a representation of you so make it represent whoever and whatever you are and all it will do is improve your life and make you feel good and that's really what anyone and everyone wants in this world so thank you for watching my video subscribe like my video and i'll continue creating more thank you so much bye